I just heard loudness, almost like thunder. Tiki torches still on fire. We're being thrown in our direction. Boys, promise us. Bash through our group with their shields. I heard the sound of metal hitting bodies. Robbie called me out of the blue and said, do you want to sue the Nazis with me? I've been a litigator in New York City for more than two decades. Charlottesville actually shocked me. I wanted the toughest possible people to help expose that. This was really a conspiracy. It wasn't some sort of freak accident where this car ran into people. There was overt planning how to prepare for violence and make this appear as if it's self-defense. The threat that this poses in this country, we cannot not fight back. We are working with victims of real trauma. It gives me like cold chills to know that I'm gonna have to hash out what happened. But this is important. We're gonna speak up, we're gonna resist. We need to prove the intent was to commit violence at Unite the Right. In order to do that, you need to elicit evidence about their views. Do you consider yourself a white supremacist? No, I don't. Um, we are talking about some of the most well-known white supremacists in America. They almost treat it like a game, if I did say that. Either I was lying then, or I was joking. It was kind of like litigating against teenage violent truants. It's a photograph of a red hat that says, make lynchings great again. Did you post that? I have no recollection. I'm not sure all. what you're yeah. getting at. Yes, locker room talk. Oh, stop it there, stop. We found a flurry of communications. I mean, I think what we would say is, there's bombshell after bombshell. These views are not just hateful and racist, but they are so explicitly violent, which is the key to our case. This is not just about what was in mid-August 2017. This is about what would be in America for many decades to come.